Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. We are on day four of our practice boot camp series and today we are going to be looking at articulation and drilling some of them articulation. So let's go check it out. Now I'm going to really make the focus of today really it's about getting this guy going. So I'm going to really invite you to choose any of the technical exercises we've done in the previous few days or to even, you know, choose one of your own, one of your favorite exercises. It doesn't really matter. I am going to recommend though that stick with kind of like a more scale exercise. I do think for articulation for what we're going to do today, it's a little bit more beneficial. But whether this is just playing normal scales and arpeggios or just normal scales even, or maybe you're going to go back to the right hit number one exercise, which is a nice scale exercise, I'm going to do that. Uh, but I'm going to show you a few examples of just doing it on normal scales as well because I want this to be something that all of us can and should practice regularly. Okay, so I am on that right hit exercise and all I'm going to do for now uh, is just on each note I'm just going to do a two, 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 just two little kind of knocks on each note. So. doing this I'm feeling very carefully where is my tongue where is it really hitting in my mouth I'm not going to try and control it at all at this point I'm just trying to feel what's happening where is it going and then as you're feeling it I want you now to start experimenting a little bit with a little bit more forward and a little bit more back just getting a sense of hey what's going on there so Now what I want you to experiment a little bit with is allowing that tongue as you go up the up onto the flute, up to the higher registers, to allow it to go more forward, a little bit more two, 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 two. And as you go back into the lower register, think a little bit more do 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 a little bit further back. Just feel how that feels, finding the right spot each time. I also want to encourage you to allow yourself to really just use the tip of the tongue and not to use ta, 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 the whole tongue each time. We're really just focusing on the using ch, t, 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 t. I did a video of biting down on your tongue and then keeping that stability there. You can go check that out. I will link you up above. But right now, we are just going to t, 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 get that tip moving. I want to just watch that you're not going with your mouth the whole time. This is quite a common habit that I see. And you're really keeping quite still here and just gently with the tongue. And now going into the low registers, of course. yesterday I'm listening very carefully also listening for those crack notes which often happen sort of around that E D F in the middle register and of course in that low register finding that sound there we are just doing single tonguing today we are later in the series going to do double tonguing and triple tonguing but today we're just really checking back in with our tongues and seeing what's going on but we are going to do little three bumps on each note now. So I'm going to do A minor now just to move on. I'm going to show you now you can do into four, going on to four little tongues on each note. Now, the faster or the more kind of knocks we do on each note, the kind of lighter you want your tonguing to be. Uh, I had a professor who explained it to me once, like almost like a bouncing ball, you know. Da, 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 that you have the initial the initial kind of impulse but then after that it's just little bounces that you're not thinking but and da, 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 which I think is really helpful because we tend to build up tension as we, we do the tonguing so when we think about releasing like that 
we just get this nice kind of light tonguing effect. So I'm just going to do this on a simple scale now for those of you who are still on your scales. And just to give you an idea, I'm going to do F major. So... Same thing in that E, F register area. I think, you know, the thing I spent, I remember, I spent like so much time at some point drilling this area and getting this area in check. We are only on day four at the moment, so I want us to still just be a little bit patient here. Yes, you know, see if you can figure things out. Approach it with curiosity rather than frustration and kind of like, I must get this right today, right now. Otherwise, I don't know. I can just put my flute away and never try again. Don't. No, no, we don't want that kind of attitude. We just want you to be kind of like, yeah, curious and, oh, I wonder what's going on there. And mm -hmm, I wonder, you know, can, can I like let it go a little bit? And at some point realize in time it's going to get better. So let it go. All right. For those of you who are wanting a bit more of a challenge, I recommend try five, try six. See how really quick and kind of responsive you can get that single tonguing. We really, I think we have, really can benefit from getting our double tonguing down as slow as possible and still even, and our single tonguing as fast as possible and still even, so that we kind of have this nice overlapping space where we can use our tonguing kind of freely and creatively. So let me try the five. I'm going to do different scale. What am I going to do? I'm going to do, I'm going to do F major, but I'm going to do it in the uh, Reichert exercise system. So um, I'm going to do it on five. Oh my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> it's quite tricky guys it's quite tricky and you might your tongue might feel a bit like <laughs> tired after a little while that's perfectly fine do this in small increments if you can just remembering the main important thing is feeling that light light feeling of the tongue that's what we're training we're not training to get this muscle like ha <laughs> super strong it will. It will in time. So take a little break. Just shake it out and carry on. I don't think I'm on the right scale anymore. <laughs> Doesn't matter, guys. This is not the point. The point is really just about getting this tongue in going. Have fun with it. Enjoy this process. Try get them as kind of quick and light as you can so that you can really just be free with your tonguing. Your last step, once you've kind of gone up all these levels, is to now just do the single tonguing one per note, quite quickly if you can, or as fast as you can, but... And when you've done all those like rep repetitions, da, 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 up to five or six or whatever it is, you'll feel after that, your tonguing, your single tonguing is going to feel so much easier and so much more effortless. It's a really nice little technique to use. So have fun with it and keep that going for a few days and see how it goes. Until then, everybody, happy articulating and see you tomorrow.